Hi, my name is Rob LaPlaca. I'm an attorney at Viral Dana in Westport, Connecticut, and I'm here to present Play by the Rules, Legal Considerations in Social Media and Mobile Sweepstakes and Contests. Uh, for the past 25 years, I have been representing major brands and ad agencies who represent brands uh, in all different types of promotions, and here we're going to focus on the different types of prize promotions that companies uh, typically run, and it's the kind of material that uh, cannot be gone into lightly with someone who has a client that suggests, hey, I want to run a sweepstakes, uh, is this okay? So you need to have a, a good, solid background with uh, the laws in terms of uh, running these types of promotions uh, because they are regulated in all 50 states. And to run a nationwide promotion, uh, you're going to need to know essentially what states allow and what states don't allow uh, so that this can be run successfully for both you and your client. So it starts off with a look at lotteries and what lottery uh, means in the in the states. And generally the states have the same uh, definitions for a lottery. And the point being that companies, private companies, cannot run a lottery. Uh, lotto and games like that are specific to the state governments themselves. Uh, so companies need to steer clear of running a illegal lottery. And the three elements that make up a lottery are prize, chance, and consideration. So to keep things legal in, in a prize promotion, a company is going to need to eliminate one of those three elements, whether you can eliminate prize, chance, or consideration. And let's look into uh, how that could be done for each of those particular items. So first we need to see what is a prize. Uh, it seems obvious enough uh, from anybody who's ever watched TV or seen uh, commercials that a prize is essentially anything of value. It could be money, it could be a trip, it could be products, uh, it could be any, anything that has a value. And the value may not necessarily have to be a specific dollar amount because if you are running a prize promotion where you are saying that the winner could come and meet and greet some celebrity, for example, uh, it might not be something that you could buy from a store or on the street to have this opportunity, but it has a value to it. So that would also be something that would be considered a prize. The real only items that uh, have been litigated to some extent recently with regard to whether this is really a prize comes up in the issue of uh, in-game rewards for people. And I bring this up because it has been litigated in a couple of states recently, and there is no, unfortunately, is no uh, consensus nationwide. But if the example would be that uh, you're playing a game uh, with a chance to win uh, items within the game itself that are only valuable within the game itself. So you get coins for more plays uh, within the game or you get uh, certain uh, really fun-looking widgets or other items that you could use uh, while playing the game, or a super sword, or things like that. Uh, and the issue is, can that uh, be a prize? And in these areas, uh, courts have gone both ways and said, well, if it can't be redeemed for cash, then it's really not a prize. And other courts have said, 
Well, it is a prize because it does have some kind of value. So unfortunately, this is one of these areas, but I wanted to point it out because uh, it, it's, it's not common that you have the uh, issue of whether you actually have a prize, uh, whether something is an illegal lottery. But it would come up in the context of if you wanted to argue that, well, this free sword that I'm giving the winners uh, isn't really a prize because it can only be used in the game. It can't be bought for cash in any particular way. And it's really not a prize. Therefore, we're allowed to have the other two elements of a lottery, specifically uh, chance and consideration.